Why am I crossing over so bad? So we, we, we help the kickers, now we're going to the punters. Most of the time, the reason you are crossing over on your punt is because you are dropping the ball inside. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, I practice my drops all the time. I never drop the ball inside. But when you take your steps, all right, and let's just talk about a right-footed punter, all right? When you take your steps, your ball is kind of outside of your hips. That's good. That's solid. That's where we want it. But what we tend to do is we focus so much on that football that we forget that we're trying to go upfield. And what's happening is that we are taking our first step at our ball, then trying to cut upfield and go after that ball. Well, the ball didn't move, but as we take that step to our right, now that ball is at the center of our body. And then when we go to cut upfield, we never quite get it back on the outside of our foot. Our foot goes straight through that ball. Our follow through follows across our body. So with that being the issue, most of the time we're crossing over because we are stepping at our ball rather than stepping straight. Leave that ball outside. I promise your leg will go there, all right? The other thing is if we drop it a little bit too close to ourselves, a lot of times we end up bending our knees, snapping that leg, but a lot of times that little knee bend will cause us to kind of strike through that ball at an angle as well. So make sure we're walking straight, taking two small compact steps, and striking up through it.